I walk into a place and I'm surrounded by people, but I am so alone. Wasn't supposed to happen. <sighs> I'm a perfect princess. <laughs> Disney's gonna bankrupt me. And I'm really okay with that. That's what's talking about what's working. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is week 16. 16. Like, my training plan is old enough to drive now. Anyway, this week has been, um, this week has been. I'm sure you know that, um, especially if you follow me on social media, that um, I didn't get the news I was hoping for from the doctor on Tuesday, and I have been sidelined, so, um, training now looks a little bit different. So let's take a look back and see what different looks like in week 16. Hey y'all, Monday. Um, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I kind of feel that way about my life right now. I don't know what I'm doing. No, I do know what I'm doing. It's run club. It's just an easy run tonight. We're in that weird part of the um, season where it gets dark at like four in the afternoon. Maybe an exaggeration, but it feels like it. We usually would meet for run club at seven and run till about 8.30. Now we're having to meet at 6.15, um, even six o'clock because by 7.20, 7.15, it's dark. And running out here on the trails in the dark is a big no-no. So anyway, Monday, let's go. Let's knock it out of the park, literally. We'll see you on the trail. If Monday was a person. <laughs> we are halfway through. Oh crap, I didn't stop my watch. Pause. We are halfway through this run. It's getting dark, which means the video capabilities are, you know, going away. So we're gonna go drop the camera back off and head back out for the last two miles. And we will see you on Thursday. Hey, okay, it's uh, like 3.45ish and I am getting ready to go to the sports med doctor, get this IT band thing figured out. So hopefully he has some good news, we'll see. I'm just leaving the doctor and um, I am broken just kidding we knew that already no it is my IT band but it's actually the insertion um, at each level the insertion of the IT band at the hip level and then at the knee so um, is to strengthen all of that and he actually looked at my gait and I'm running crooked because everything is trying to compensate which makes total sense because if something is 
wonky and broken, then the other parts of you want to compensate for it. So um, I've got to get everything strengthened. I'm going to be visiting with him twice a week for a couple weeks, and then we'll drop it down to once a week um, for a couple weeks, and then hopefully. Ooh, sorry music was loud. Anyway, drop it down um, to once a week whenever I'm ready for that. But he went ahead and started treatment today. And if I can walk later today or tomorrow, it's going to be just a darned miracle because he needled my hip, my left hip, not even the hip. It was like, well, it was where the IT band inserts up there. So um, needled it with four or five needles and then stuck some electrodes on those needles and at one point it was so like the it was so intense that my leg was just like involuntarily moving like kicking which is a very weird sensation um but it already feels better that's weird to say that hey I got the fire shocked out of my hip but it feels better it does it's crazy anyway um so that's it for this first visit and I will be back with them next week um, I didn't there wasn't anything available for the remainder of the week that made sense with my schedule and that's okay but um, yeah I'm on the road to recovery also he told me not to run 17 miles this weekend because he's afraid I'll injure myself really bad if I do that and I actually agree so I don't know what the plan is gonna be for Saturday, he mentioned that every time I run, I'm doing myself harm because my gait has changed and I'm compensating for things that I shouldn't be needing to compensate for. So um, I'm glad that we caught this when we did because like I told him in there and I'm telling you right now, I'd rather be out for a couple of weeks now than sidelined and unable to run at Disney. So priorities focus on the priorities and I'm gonna be doing some low resistance slash no resistance in the meantime okay bye hey it's Thursday and I'm sitting in the parking lot of Gold's gym um, do y'all ever get gym performance anxiety is that a thing like I since my sidelining has occurred, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, I feel like I'm that person that they're going to be like, uh, over the speaker. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Can you get off of the equipment like that? Like I'd be hanging it upside down or something. Um, because I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm so special. Um, I, yeah, I'm just... I feel like I'm wandering in to a familiar place, but I know nothing at all at the same time, which is really an odd place to be. But if you've been there, you know, like, hey, I'm about to walk in to a place that I usually will run at, and I can't do that, and there's other things to do, but I don't know what to do or how to do them. So... Yeah, this is gonna be, this is just gonna be, I'm not even gonna put like an adjective on it. It's just gonna be, it will be what it will be. This is going to be, that sounded like the start of a really bad rap song. <laughs> yo, yo, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay, let's discuss. So I did some balance activities. Um, I think I did some balance things. Really what it boils down to is I tried to not look like an idiot. That's really, <laughs> that's really what I did. And then, and then I did five miles on the stationary bike at a very slow, do you call it pace? Very slow 
petal. <laughs> Is that right? Anyway, I feel good. I, as much as I don't think I look like an idiot, I think I did look like an idiot. So yeah, it's gonna be a long two weeks. A really long two weeks. Saturday and it's early um, I say it's early it's like 10 anyway um, I'm exhausted like totally exhausted thankfully my wonderful husband took care of the kids this morning and let me sleep in I slept till almost 9 I haven't done that in years years but that's why I have like, you want real life? This, this is real life right here. So obviously no running. I'm headed back to the gym with the ultimate goal of not looking like a doofus. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look into a different kind of week for me. Now, where do I go from here? I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. Um, I know that I will be a good patient and be listening to what my doctor has to say and doing my exercises and just keep on keeping on. That's all I can do. Now I do want to thank each and every one of you that took the time to write just wonderful comments on the post I put up on social media. Um, I read each and every one of those and I, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to sit down or stay or whatever you know what I mean and type out those messages for me um, because I posted that almost um, I believed what I wrote at the time about finding the joy and I still believe that and I think I put in one of the things to make the conscious effort make the conscious effort and decision to choose joy when everything else in you wants the opposite. And that's where I am kind of in summary for the week. Um, I know at the gym, I know you saw a minute ago, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do there. I walk into a place and I'm surrounded by people but I am so alone because I don't know what to do. And I think I felt that way um, when I first started running, before I found this little community, I was surrounded by people, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to ask for help. I didn't know that that was acceptable to do that. So um, that's kind of what that post was about, was finding the joy when everything in you is telling you go sulk and go cry and feel sorry for yourself and throw a pity party. Don't forget the balloons because it's not a party without the balloons. And um, yeah, I'm not going to hang there. I'm not going to not going to be that. I'm not going to do that. Um, my frustration, these are not tears of sadness or tears of just frustration. Um, because it's hard to have gotten as far as I have gotten and then be told to stop. And I know in the grand scheme of things, two weeks is not that big of a deal, but when you're missing a key long distance, like today I should have done 17 miles. Um, 
I can't help but think that that has, I can't help but think that that is now setting me very much behind. I just, I can't help but think that way. So, um, I will get better. This will get better. I just can't help but feel a little bit behind at this point. Um, anyway, and part of the reason I don't know what to do in the gym is because I'm an overachiever and I have another appointment with my doctor on Tuesday and that's when the entire recovery program is going to get laid out. So me going to the gym um, on my own is me trying to get ahead of the curve, which probably is not smart, but it's what I chose to do. Um, so that's why I don't know what to do. I will know what to do next week and I will let you know, I will fill you in on my recovery plan next week. So. As always, thanks again for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. And you know what? I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.